everybody, this is Droid Doc. I'm going to be showing you how to make a backup of your tablet once you've installed or once you've unlocked your bootloader, you've rooted, and you have installed your custom recovery. Now, the recovery that I installed, if you watch my video, if you watch my video, it installs the uh, TWRP recovery, which I really like. Uh, one of the great reasons I like it is like uh, if you can actually charge your battery while you're in recovery mode and that's great because if you ever get into like a boot loop or anything it's usually pretty easy to get to recovery and you could uh, go ahead and give your battery a charge and then um, flash your or restore your backup so it's actually very very nice um, let's see so let's go ahead and what I'm gonna do is just go to my apps and I'm going to show you how to go to, uh, if you watched my uh, root video, then um, you'll have the quick boot, which is right up here at the top, if you see that. Of course, my camera doesn't really enjoy focusing very well. There we go. So you tap quick boot, and then this is going to actually prompt you to grant super, uh, super SU permission, so go ahead and do that. You just type or hit grant, and then we're going to go to recovery. Actually, it'll probably do it at this point. There it is. So I hit grant. It's going to take me to recovery mode. Making a backup is actually very easy once you have this installed. Okay, so really all you do is go to backup. And normally the first three are checked, the system data and boot. I want a full recovery, cache, and everything. So I go ahead and check the top. Let's see if I can get that to focus. I go ahead and check everything. I have everything checked. Um, I normally skip the M MD5 generation during backup. I'm not really concerned about that and we only have the option with the Nexus 7 to use internal storage for now. Um, hopefully they'll make one with a SD card, but we'll see. Um, so I don't have enable compression checked and I skip the MD5 uh, generation during backup. So really the way to make a backup is swipe to backup. So it says backing up system. I'm trying to get it to where it will actually focus here. There we go. One day I'll invest in a real camera. <laughs> Backing up data. And see how it shows the battery percentage and the time. This this is actually made to where you can charge your battery. So let's say um, you try to flash a ROM, it messes up, and you get stuck in a boot loop, and your battery's at 10%. Well, normally you would be in trouble, possibly, because you may not have enough time to charge your battery. But with this, you can go ahead and plug it into the charger, and you're good. It will charge it, get it up to about you know over 50%, and then go ahead and restore your backup. So it's really handy. Takes a few minutes, but not that long. Okay, backup successful, and it's really a good idea to do a couple of these in my opinion, because 
sometimes backups can be corrupted. Um, I haven't seen it happen with my Nexus 7 yet, but I have seen it happen with my uh, previous phones. So it's it's just a good idea. I, I usually uh, make two backups, but it, when you want to make a backup is when you have your apps on the screen where you want, when you have your widgets where you want. This will save widgets positions, this will save apps, this will save your cache, it will save your settings, your individual app settings, data, everything. Call logs, text messages, everything. So this is a literal backup of the way your tablet is at this point. So we'll go ahead and reboot system. <laughs> a lot of people love that notification. I, however, am tired of it. And I'm surprised that my phone just did that. Normally I have it changed. So next next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back up on my computer because we don't have SD cards, we don't have external storage, so it's a good idea to go ahead and put this on your computer and back it up. All right, so let me go ahead and plug this into the USB. All right, so I've got the uh, USB hooked in to the tablet, and we're going to go ahead Okay, so this the folder the folder that has the backup will be in the uh, TWRP. Just go to backups and then go in this folder with all the numbers and letters. And as you can see, I have three backups, okay? I have this one that I just made, which is uh, December 24th, 2012, and that was at 1026. Um, and then I've got this one. And then I had this one. So this is my most current backup. Let me go ahead and turn my other screen on here. I actually have a, a Nexus 7 folder that I use that I made for my computer. Okay, so Nexus 7 and then back up and then I'm going to go ahead and bring this here and copy it over. And so that's it guys. Be sure when you make your backups that you do copy it over and uh, make a backup of your backup to your computer. Trust me, it's a good idea. There's a lot of different things that could cause your data to be erased. Uh, anytime you're changing ROMs, make a backup. If you have a, a, a tablet where the terms of use is violated, you have no way of rerouting it, and you have no backup, it's not a good situation. So just be sure that you make a backup before you do any kind of ROMs or any kind of themes. And to make or to restore your backup, all you do is go back to that Quick Boot app and then you'll click Restore, or sorry, you'll go to Recovery first and then you'll just select Restore and then the date that you want to restore. It's very easy and it will restore your tablet to the state it was when you made that backup. Okay guys, thanks for watching. As always, it's a pleasure. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.